Do you know how to multiply and divide radicals? Let's take a look at an example and figure out how to do this. 3 square root of 4 times 2 square root of 4. To multiply these two radicals, we're going to work with the number parts separate from the radicals. Let's start by multiplying the numbers. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. Now we have to multiply the radicals. The square root of 4 times the square root of 4 is equal to the square root of 16. So when we multiply it at first glance, this seems to be our answer. However, the square root of 16 is not in simplest form because we can simplify this radical. So let's put the 6 over here and let's simplify the square root of 16, which is 4. The 6 is next to the radical. So in the same way that when we had a number next to a letter, it meant multiplication. Next to meant to multiply. It's going to be the same thing here. So the sign here is times. Now we can simplify this. 6 times 4 is equal to 24. That is our solution. Let's look at another one. Here we have the square root of 8 times the square root of 9. Now there's only the square roots to multiply. We don't have numbers in front. So we can just work with the square roots. Before we even start though, take a look at the square root of 9. Automatically you should know that you can simplify this to 3. So if we do that, then we end up with an answer of 3 square root of 8. And you might think that you're done, but we're not finished yet. The square root of 8 can be simplified. It can be simplified to the square root of 4 times the square root of 2. Square root of 4 becomes 2. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of pieces now. Let's circle all the pieces we have to put together. 3, 2, square root of 2. So we would have 3 times 2 times the square root of 2. We multiply 3 times 2, and that equals 6. Square root of 2, and this is our final answer. Let's look at one that involves division. Here we have 3 divided by the square root of 2. This fraction bar is being used to represent division. Now whenever you see a problem like this, we have to rationalize the denominator to get rid of the square root. We do that by multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by whatever square root is in the denominator to begin with. So here we would multiply 3 divided by the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 over the square root of 2. Now we multiply across. 3 times the square root of 2 is 3 square root of 2. Square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is the square root of 4. Now we simplify anything that we can. We can't simplify the 3 square root of 2. That stays like it is. But we can simplify the square root of 4, and that becomes 2. This is our final answer. Let's look at one more where we need to rationalize the denominator. 4 divided by the square root of 3. First we rationalize the denominator. We multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the square root of 3. Now we multiply across. 4 times the square root of 3 is 4 square root of 3. Square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is the square root of 9. The numerator stays the same. We can't simplify anything there. But in the denominator, the square root of 9 becomes 3. This is our final answer, and our work is complete.